Oh, oh, well, this is new. This is something I have not seen before. This is, uh, this is total skill. This was, I was, I meant to do this. This was part of the battle plan. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MBR and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Mike, haven't you done everything this game has to offer? You've beaten the game, you've tested multiple things in sandbox level, you've even gone to us for ideas, which I'm gonna do again this episode. You guys actually seem to enjoy that quite a lot. But there is a secret, okay? A secret level that no one knows about, a mystery broken, a puzzle cracked. You don't crack puzzles. Now looking at this level, guys, you see that there's nothing here, okay? It's, this is like a David Blade magic trick. You see, nothing here, nothing up my sleeve. But my performance says very heavy and that I've spent a lot of units. Where, where are they? Where could they be? Well, let me tell you where they are. They're in the secret layers of this level here. Wow, so secret and so amazing. The fact that there's two other levels on this level. Some of them aren't even in the level. Some of them are just hanging off the side. I don't believe that they're gonna be in the fight for very long. So I set up a bunch of Cool wielding Darth Maul men uh, to fight it out here in the in the under levels. I don't even I'll call this Purgatory and Hell. Actually, no, Hell is down there. So I would say Purgatory level one, Purgatory level two. They fight to see who goes to Hell. That doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna go with it. Let's go down here before they destroy each other too much. They uh, wow, that's only a battle a secret level could hold, really. Uh, that's wow. There's <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> They're going pacifist. What's going on here? It's like going through the level. They lost their swords in battle. They've dropped it once they died, I guess. I didn't know that, that it would just go through the, the ground like this, though. That's crazy. It's a nice little light show at the bottom. I wonder if I can reach the bottom. If there is, I wonder if there is a bottom to this level. I wonder if there's a bottom to any level. I think it might just keep on going forever. Uh, I should probably go back to the actual fight because that's what we're here to watch, not just watch some lightsabers falling to the, the nethers. They're still going at it. Whoa. What is that center beam here? The heck is this thing? You guys do your thing. I'm gonna go explore in this little center tube. What the heck? Is, where does this even lead to? Just one of the towers? That's really strange. All right, and now, uh, now that we've, <laughs> that was that was so secret. That was so amazing. So so amazing that I only wanted to do it once. I I want to keep it special. I don't want to, you know, saturate it too much. I want to. Remember it how it was, okay? Just re let's re let's sit here and just think about how how that was, okay? Remember that one time that I showed wow, you that so secret, secret level? So oh man, amazing. that was a good time. And now I'm gonna do some things that you guys have been asking me in the comment section. And actually, I feel like this is kind of fun to be able to take your suggestions and put them into the game as well, because not everybody has access to this alpha. So it's fun that I get to help you experience your life goals here in Tabs Land. So the first request that I got that really spoke to me and really drew my attention was asking me if I could use a thousand degrees green knife. Now I don't have Walmart blow torches. I have a stove I could use. I have an oven I could use, but that seems dangerous. And honestly, it's just going to take too long. So I'm going to go the easy route. I mean, it looks like it's a, this part's a thousand degrees. Ooh, that's hot. That's so hot to touch. Also, this is glowing red now, right? It's Woo, that's crazy. I don't know how I'm gonna use this against Tab's units, but I don't think I have to. I think I can just say that this will win without a doubt against any unit that I put it up against. So, instant win. Uh, 80 M16s versus the fast firing arrow turrets and 20 peasants. Okay, so how many of the watches should I put out? I'll put 80 M16s, but I feel like that if I, you know what, I'll put them in a, in a V form because that, that way it won't actually hit each other. Hopefully it won't hit each other. Whoa, I didn't realize I could put them on top of the towers like that. Can I put it over here? Hold on a second. What? Secret level number two. Look at that. They got a sniper post. I did not realize that I could put things up here. That's amazing. I'm just gonna put them all on these little sniper posts. This is super, super overpowered. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of these units to make it an even 80. That That's a good setup. That's a good battlement setup. They're smart. They might live through this war. And then on this side, we got 20 peasants, so. Uh, let's see here, 20 peasants, just put them all in the line because they're probably just gonna be cannon fodder and die. He didn't specify how many watches, so I'm just gonna make it so it's the even spent amount. Ooh, and I can put them on, it's a sniper tower war. This is actually really cool. I didn't realize that, I know what, I'm gonna make it just go right up against him. That's probably not gonna work, but that'd be really funny if they just instantly shot and killed each other like that. I, I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna shoot and kill the Hawacha before he can even fire off the shot, but it's it'll be funny to watch anyways. This is actually probably gonna make me lag just, just a little bit. I'm already starting to feel it, so I'm gonna have to go in slow-mo right away as soon as I start this battle. I don't think I can make that many Hawachas to even out the, the scores here. 
This is gonna be a little, uh, little ridiculous here. Oh God, this is not good. I'm not, I haven't even started yet and I'm lagging out you guys. I haven't dumbed down the graphics settings to good as opposed to fantastic is what I usually play because I'm a fantastic player. Uh, come on, I can't even fit them anymore. Maybe if I put some underneath, hold on, let's see here. If I put some underneath, maybe those ones will live and it'll win the war for them. I don't know, okay. I gotta instantly go into slow-mo or else I'm gonna just lag out and, oh God, it looks like some of them already lost their wheels or something. Oh, okay, okay, they're not dying instantly as what I thought. I didn't realize that they could shoot instantly. How is that one up there doing? That's the one I wanted to know about. And those ones are shooting straight into the wall. Those ones don't even care what they're trying to fire at. They're just going for it. Okay. Well, the ones up there, it seems like it wasn't even shot at because, uh, yeah, he instantly died. Yeah, he's he's goner. So it looks like most of the watches are down. Most of the peasants are down. I think that the ones underneath might be alive still. And then there are some out here actually that haven't shot yet that might be alive. That one just shot, so that one's gonna die here in a second. Ones underneath might actually still be alive for all I know. Let's go check it out real quick. Yeah. The ones under here are still alive. I'm wondering if that's gonna, I'm wondering if that's gonna win it out for them because the M16s are gonna search them out, trying to find them, you know, uh, clear their corners and such. And they're gonna try to jump off the edge possibly to chase them down. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but they actually took out quite a bit. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of units taken out. Um, but that's a little bit more, I would say. <laughs> how are the, how are the watches downstairs doing? Let's go check on them real quick. Are they shooting? Oh no, they're trying to shoot through the wall. Uh-oh. Well, I think they might have lost this one. I don't see any blue survivors. I think they're just falling, so I'm gonna call this and give it to the reds. They they still have a lot of people that are just scouring the corners trying to find life so they could snuff it out with a single shot to the temple. So next one is uh, five trumps versus 100 thieves slash peasants. Does that mean like a mixture of them or like 100 thieves and 100 peasants? The thieves are triggered SJWs and feminists that weren't happy with Trump winning. Um. I'm just gonna say that there are 100 thieves and 100 peasants. <laughs> let's not, let's not get into that. Let's not, uh, let's not get a bunch of dislikes, shall we? This was him saying that, by the way, you guys, not me. So dislike him, no, don't dislike him. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with just the fact that they're thieves though and peasants, not whatever you said. Peasants are only 10 and thieves are 30. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try with 100 thieves. I feel like 100 thieves is still not gonna be enough to kill that many Trumps just because they are uh, long range and they do a lot of damage. I would have to be like off to the side like this and maybe I'll have some sneak attack units over there. I'll sneaky like, yeah, that's our sneak squad. All right, five trumps versus a hundred thieves. Hundred thieves, okay? Hundred, th hundred thieves. Here we go. Go SJW army. <laughs> Take him out. Take him out. Go for him. I, they're gonna get shot hard. I don't know how much damage the Trumps can actually take because they are a long range unit. And usually speaking, long range units in this game don't have as much HP as the uh, the melee ones. Oh my God, they got taken out hard. I don't even, they didn't even take out one. What the heck? Wait, is it, is it my sneak attack units? Oh no, sneak attack squad. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> they're trying to go. Are they trying to climb the wall? Are they trying to climb the wall that, that Trump put up? The wall just got 10 feet higher. Well, now they're gonna have to climb 10 feet higher. <laughs> Look at them. They're like, we are so sneaky. We hide from ourselves even. I'm very confused. I don't think that, what are they even doing? What? <laughs> What's going on? What is happening here? They're slowly climbing up. Is this, is this the unit climbing or is it the wall? that's actually climbing it for them. That is really weird. I'm so confused at what's going on right now. They are definitely denying like science and physics right now. This is pretty crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think it's just gonna be a stalemate guys. Unless that one, oh, oh, oh. That one knows something is up. That one's gonna try to get around here pretty soon. I don't know if eventually they'll be able to even make it. I think they're able to climb up to this like glowy part, but I think the wall itself, you can't actually climb. That's so crazy though. <laughs> they, I didn't realize Trump was Spider-Man. I mean, he is red. And he is muscly. Dude, this one's gonna corner shot them for sure. He just has to go forward. He's doing his tactical butt lean though. He, he keeps knocking himself back too. All right, let's reset that. Let's try it one more time and make it so the uh, the Trumps are a little bit closer and see if they can still win if they are that much closer to them. So five Trumps versus the thief army. I don't think that they're gonna make it though. Yeah, this, there's no way. There is no 
freaking way. And then it's gonna be a stalemate again with the same sneak crew. That's hilarious that they do that. <laughs> they're just, they're doing it again and one died somehow. What did you guys do to him? What the heck? Like he, he was giving away our plan. We had to take him out. I would not have expected that to be a stalemate. Seriously, I thought that was gonna be a clear cut winner. Then we got uh, 20 barrel rollers versus one dark peasant. I think that I've tried this before with even more barrel rollers, but I'll try it anyways. And I'll put a unit in the back of the barrel rollers just so that it, their team, if they actually do damage and die towards the dark peasant, they don't just lose instantly because that'd be kind of lame. All right, so there's the 20 barrel rollers and then I'll put the dark peasant over here. It doesn't really matter how far away he is. He's just gonna bring him into him anyways. Very back, I'll put a samurai master. Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens here. If he gets killed at all, probably not. Did he, what the heck? Where'd he, what the heck? What happened to him? Where'd he go? Oh, he's in there for, okay. Well, yeah. 20 barrel rollers didn't uh, didn't take him out. And I don't know if the samurai's even hitting him, actually, to be honest. What the heck's going on? He's definitely singed. They definitely did a mark on him, but uh, 20's not enough, I guess, guys. Let's see if uh, 150 of them can take on the dark peasant. There we go. Okay, well, they're, they're <laughs> one's already lost his barrel and it's gone, wow. It's gone to the heavens. It is out of here. He's taking a lot of damage. They're doing work. They're doing their job well. You, you are very brave soldiers, every single one of you. I'm very proud to be your commander. You're all dying very quickly. It's a chain reaction. Oh my God. It is a freaking nuclear explosion. Oh, oh, well, this is new. This is something I have not seen before. This is, uh, this is total skill. This was, I was, I meant to do this. This was part of the battle plan. I don't know what's happening right now. Um, I didn't realize that they could, they could spin their barrels so quickly that it would actually make them fly into the sky. Very impressive, very impressive tactics. I'm gonna keep on following them from now on just to see what's going on here. How is this a thing? What is happening right now? What is going, I mean, I still see explosions going on down there and there's even a, hold on a second, is that a body? That's just a body floating. All right, I guess they're all just going to heaven, guys. They're done with this world. They want to be at peace. They want to be with their their father, Barrel God. Yeah, they're just going. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say to this guy. I think it's gonna be a tie though. So I mean, I'm gonna call that one. I want to try that one more time. I feel like that that was that a fluke. I don't know if that was a fluke or not. Okay, well they all died. I feel like that's something I've noticed is that when you go into slow mo, it actually creates like weird scenarios that don't normally happen. It just like that. Well, there they go. They found they found the way up. Uh, is he gonna fall? Nope, and he's just slowly, slowly sinking towards it. Nope, nope, he's going back up. They're actually using the tower to stay away from the dark peasant. The dark peasant is following him though. He knows what's up. It's like a symbolism of life right here. You, you keep on trying to walk forward into a wall and you just go nowhere. So when things work out right, the dark peasant will win. When things work out weird though, the barrels are by far the coolest unit. I've seen yet. Ooh, this one will be interesting to watch. Uh, Hawacha versus Projectile Shield. And if you don't know already, Projectile Shield is one of the new Neon units that actually keeps projectiles away from them. So I guess we should try like maybe a smaller scale. So I'll try doing just five for now. Let's just try five versus the five Hawachas. And again, they kill themselves when they're done shooting. So I'm gonna put just one unit in the very back just so that they don't uh, die instantly when they shoot their, their arrows. Oh, 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 look at that. That's freaking cool. They're shooting every single arrow out of the sky. That is impressive. But did they do any damage to themselves? I don't know if they do. Oh, they totally do. That seems that seems kind of ridiculous. I didn't realize how powerful those things were. Let's see if five samurais can take them on um, because they're the same cost of unit. I wanna see if they'll actually be taken out before they even reach them. Cause they seem to fire pretty quickly, but they don't do that much damage or something. I don't know. What's going on here? Yeah, I guess they just don't do that much damage. Huh. Well, <laughs> all right. 100 muskets versus 10 M16s. Okay, so let's try out that. And uh, first we'll try normal muskets. Then we'll try laser muskets. See what happens there. There's gonna be a lot of friendly fire here, I believe, but it's the only way that I could set them up to actually get 100. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Here we go. Old technology versus newer technology. Let's see uh, which one wins. I'm pretty sure in my opinion, it's probably gonna be the M16s. They just fire so fast. It's crazy. They get like maybe one shot off and then they die. So yeah, it's it's not really a competition. Yeah, they didn't even take out one. 
That's crazy. All right, let's uh, let's try out the beamers though. They're uh, they're pretty good. All right, hundred beamers, hundred M16s. Let's see, future technology versus today. Wow, beamers are really weak at what they do. They haven't even shot once, I think. Oh, there we go. Holy God, that was that was a freaking genocide in like split second. That was nuts. And I think that they uh, even over penetrate so they can hit units behind them as well. So that's. That's crazy. They are literally a glass cannon. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for today. I'm going to call that here. Uh, lots of interesting battles, guys. Thanks so much for the suggestions. If you want to see something else in the next episode, leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to check it out or at least read it and then laugh at it and leave a like for you. So, yeah, keep the creative suggestions coming. I really appreciate them. Um, it's fun to, to explore other options that I don't think of myself already. Really cool plans for the next episode. I'm going to try and do a zombie apocalypse battle. I don't know if that's going to work out or not. Uh, I'll update you about that later on. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like and a comment down below. Let me know you did and be sure to leave a suggestion if you want me to try it in the next episode. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and more in the future. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one and remember to keep having fun. Bye bye. That's crazy.